This presentation focuses on a process that has been grant funded to align the design and selection of open education resources with credentials that lead to vibrant careers. In New Jersey, the Open Textbook Collaborative earned the $1.3 million grant from the United States Department of Education, the Fund for Improvement of Post-Secondary Education. Working across the state, four sectors of the economy were identified as ripe for new employees as the baby boomers are retiring at a rapid clip. This need for workers in the four sectors guided the design of the program and identified the open education resources needed to achieve this. The four sectors are energy and infrastructure, health services, innovation and technology, and global manufacturing and supply chain management. These are important sectors for New Jersey and a review of the courses required for entry into these careers identified key times where textbooks were required that are expensive and would serve as a barrier to somebody interested in the field and the lucrative careers involved. The goal of this grant is to support people. People preparing for employment in these sectors that build careers with stackable credentials, certificates, associate's degrees, additional certificates, and bachelor's degrees. Building on these certificates and credentials in order to create a viable path to enter the career. The model has proven to be very exciting to the industrial community as it addresses needs that they surfaced when they participated in the review. I'm going to talk about the structure of the committees. At the top is the executive committee that guides all the processes related to this grant. The advisory committee is made up of members of the executive committee, chairs of the curriculum committees, workforce partners, and representatives from industry that have identified the needs in their fields. The curriculum committees. I currently am chair of the Energy and Infrastructure Committee. There are four curriculum committees, each focused on one workforce sector. Our charge is to create, recruit faculty or industry partners to create open education resources in these critical fields. For example, my committee is currently supporting the creation of several open education resources on construction tools and management, physics. We are working with a faculty member who is translating lab support materials into Spanish. This grant will fund complete textbooks, it will fund ancillaries, it will, it will fund digital toolkits essential to faculty that will encourage the use of open education resources for these very expensive STEM fields. The process is supportive of authors and creators. Faculty members, submit a proposal to meet rolling submission dates throughout the life cycle of the grant. 
we converse with them and recruit them to fill the needs. They are supported as they go through the writing process. There is an instructional designer and librarian assigned to each author. They work with the technology support partner so that eventually all of these resources will be posted in OpenNJ. And the technology supporting this is in the beta phase now because it must support a myriad of resource types. For example, currently there are two chemistry textbooks, one chemistry one and chemistry two. There is also a virtual microscope support tool for the biological sciences. Under consideration now is a virtual surveying tool for construction surveying. These would normally be very expensive and would serve as significant barriers to people entering these careers. That is the goal of this grant to support the growth in the economy, the livelihood of people who want to enter these fields. It is a pleasure to work with the faculty, librarians, instructional designers, and tech support in this infrastructure that was created to be supportive and it continues to grow as we reach out to new faculty to participate this is an effort across the state of New Jersey. It is spearheaded by workforce partners, community colleges, the New Jersey Council of County Colleges, and two universities. Together, we work to make this happen for New Jersey citizens. As we hone this model, we plan to publish and share it widely. Once the resources are posted in OpenNJ, they will be freely available to students and faculty across the country. It is an opportunity to explore this new model and the infrastructure of support that encourages the growth of open education resources that lead to careers. Thank you for your time and your attention. If you have any questions, please contact me at gaspar.rowan.edu.